you don't want to like hang out some more because that was really cute. Oh, you just want to pee on stuff. She beautiful. <laughs> He's like, nope. Hey. Beautiful. Just watching the puppies. You want your friend? Sunshine! We haven't had that in like two weeks and then it's supposed to get down to the 20s for like the next week which is not okay with me. So we actually need to go get propane today because it's supposed to freeze starting tomorrow night um, and we're out of propane which means we don't have a like a core heater although we have a little space heater which is amazing. Um, we also need a um, but then this little guy hasn't been uh, He's got real bad diarrhea right now. His energy is fine. He's eating. He's drinking. So he seems to be okay. He's just having some issues with the bathroom. So if you guys have any tips, please send them my way. So Buzz was up like every hour and a half last night. Which the good part is he let us know that he needed to go out. Because he did have an accident in the house while we were gone yesterday. Which was not very fun for any of us but we're really hoping that it doesn't persist because it's obviously a holiday weekend um, and I'm not quite sure if we can get a hold of our vet in the meantime uh, which I guess if it continues through tomorrow we need to contact someone but like I said he seems to be normal as far as energy goes he's fine with our walks and he's like peeing on stuff and he needs breakfast he's just having trouble with the squirty dumplings Coming to see us. Look, Brady. <laughs> oh. What? Good boy. That thing is huge. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. friends today. Look at you. You're so cute. Come here. I want to pet you. But don't lick his eyeball. <laughs> Brady. Brady. This is, no, no, okay, stop it. <laughs> Back up. Hi. Best friends forever, best friends forever. Nope, that's your eyeball. I don't want to scratch your eyeball. Hey, 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 come here. You can't get a head start. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Alright, so we are out of propane and we have been for how long? Since I went to Canada. <laughs> Quite a while. So we're going to actually finally get propane, more propane today, for the first time. So I've never actually had to go get propane from a place before. You know what you're doing? Mm-hmm. Just trying to do it slow. 
So did you have to switch something off? Yeah, you just turn these off. It says, you're, well, you're closing them. And then you unhook this, and then you just stick them in the truck? You stick them in the truck. They shouldn't explode. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do some cleaning? We have been. I, <laughs> I answered my own question. Um, I'm actually going to go through my clothes right now and get rid of some more because I tend to, this is where I keep my shirts or my tank tops. Um, I tend to accumulate stuff over a span of even a month or so. And I know that there are some clothes in here that I probably haven't even worn since we've been in the trailer. So this is how I hang my tank tops. Although it's a very small space, very small in comparison to what we used to have. I still have a lot of clothes. So these are all my leggings, sweatpants, more leggings. I've got regular t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, shorts, pants, and then back there, I can't even remember what I have. Um, some cold stuff that we have yet to break out, but it's supposed to be in the 20s next week. I'm going to clean out. Stay. Don't scratch the screen. Specifically. Will you stop? I'm just pointing. <laughs> I'm pointing. <laughs> Alright, I don't know where it came from, but I got rid of this much stuff. I don't know where that was. I've got just like everything. Shoes and pants and socks and headbands and shorts and a skirt. Just a little bit of everything. So feels good. Look at that. That's nicer. And then emptied out some of this stuff too. Woohoo! Woo! So the propane place we just found out is closed on Saturdays. And then tomorrow and Monday, they're closed for the new year. So, good luck to us. So, that's cool. We have a space heater. We're fine. Thank God for that heater <laughs> that we got sent because this thing has been a lifesaver. Um, we've been running it pretty much every night. It's got a remote so we can actually set like a timer on it. We can turn it off during the middle of the night or turn it on, which he's done several times. Um, it's only getting down to 20 degrees. It's not so bad. Which is really bad for Texas. For us. Um, and it might snow again. Yeah. So that would be cool. I that would be, be cool. I would be okay with some more snow. But it's just the lasting cold. Today it's, what, 65? It's going to get up above 40 degrees up. each day, though. Yay. I'm all for the cold weather in theory and a day or so at a time. And then I'm over it after a couple days. Just because there's been no sun, except for today... It's been like drizzly cold, just miserable weather. That's just not, I'd rather it be scorching hot than that. So we have a few errands that we're gonna run. We're gonna try and find some medicine for Buzz, for his diarrheas. Hope that it's not something more serious again. We're living the dream right now. We gotta dump the black tank and the gray tank before it freezes. Are you just trying to find all the things that are negative? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go do some stuff and we'll check in with you guys in a bit. That's all we've been up to since Christmas. Just this. Trying to catch up on sleep. Didn't happen. Not doing it. Maybe tonight. Doubt it. Alright guys, so it's... <laughs> morning, Matt! Good morning! <laughs> it's Sunday and it's 8 o'clock and we're going to the gym. Yeah. And I know that you guys are going to be like, what the heck are you guys doing? Um, I got goals. But really, I just want to get some activity in because I know I might not be able to. You already quit. For the next few days. You already quit this morning. Yeah, it's mostly him. Um, so it's supposed to freeze very soon. It's, it's already drizzling. 43. Yeah. And it's drizzling. We've got plans for the New Year's today, um, which include ice skating, which is <laughs> kind of strange because it's already cold. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know, oh, but so like a souped up, uh, what's that thing that you, you wanted since high school? That car that I got you? Viper? Oh. No, not the Viper. <laughs> I didn't get you a Viper. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Alright, continue. Uh, <laughs> where was I? <laughs> was it gonna Here? Say? Oh, 
Yeah. So, um, so we, is, yeah. we have <laughs> uh, so we have all these plans today, but somehow I have to find a little bit of time just to be able to unhook all the water from the trailer, um, and then possibly fill the freshwater tank so we can still, you know, go to the bathroom. But we. But uh. But I'm still going to have, like, gallons of water. We don't have propane. I mean, we're just going to kind of, like, rough it for a little bit. And uh, But I have to be back there, unhook the water. And then uh, from there, we're wondering, like, like my, my, we're right next to a house, you know. We can actually go in the house and go sleep there if we want to. Um, and we had the offer to do it. But we want to stay, or I want to stay, I think Blair does too, in the trailer in case something goes wrong. You know, because so, something could bust in there or I don't know I don't know what could happen there could be a leak somewhere I just I don't know I want to be there if it happens though and then uh we started talking about like if there is a leak to start jamming things into whatever space it's leaking in just like you know we we're talking about just blankets and dogs just whatever we can fit in there and then uh Blair reminded me of the towel we we use towels for everything um I feel like I don't know if you guys have ever seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, um, but there's a line in there when the guy's like, a first rule, most important rule, never forget your towel. And I feel like that's us now because we have towels everywhere. <laughs> there are towels on everything. So there's, there are towels back there because our dog's Brady throws up in the car if he gets car sick. There are towels laid all throughout the RV right now because Buzz has had diarrhea and so that's just our way of keeping things safe. Dream. Um we left towels on the upholstery when the kitty was there, towels and blankets. We have towels laying down because the dogs like put water, like Brady just drools whenever he drinks water. Um He doesn't drool, he like gets in his mouth and just goes Bleh. Yeah, so it's I mean drooling. it's just towels are like the most important thing. I don't know if we're the only one, but I feel like a towel will solve all of our problems with this freeze. So I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. We're gonna go work out. Jeez. All right, are we ready? Yeah, I hope so. So, there are there is still water in the lines because we don't have anything to blow the water out of the lines. So, that's one issue. But uh, we also don't have propane. Uh, but we do have a heater that does warm our unit up enough to to do that. So, I mean... I think it'd be pretty <clears throat> similar to having our actual um, heater going with the propane. But it's just from a higher source. So, I don't know if that's bad. Like, maybe since the heat came out lower with the other one, uh, that would stick closer to the lines. But, I mean, I don't know. Um, this thing... Here it is works pretty dang well. We just have to leave it going for a bit for it to keep everything warm. So yeah, we're not leaving tonight until we, we feel pretty good about it all. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good so far. I, uh, I lined the whole bottom of the RV with stuff, even a kayak, just to divert the wind. Uh, there's kayak, there's a tarp, there's wood yeah, let's, holding let's up all that stuff. Go show that real quick. Sure. Stay pretty. Better than nothing. So that's where all the yeah. piping is down there. So literally all of the wind is coming this way. And so we're just trying to divert it up or I guess down to the situation. Just away from this section as much as possible. And so this whole area is enclosed on the back side. So sort of. Except, except until you get to the far side. That's where all the lines are. Yeah. But no wind is blowing against it. There's no wind coming from this way. Not too bad, but we did unhook our, our water. What's it called? Our hose. Yeah. The, the the heater, water heater is back here. I dumped all that out. So. Yep. Because the hose goes all the way over there, so that would be way too far. Oh, it's cold. Um, I guess that's it. So I mean, at this point, I think that we've done all that we can. Um, and now we just have to hope and pray that everything's going to be okay. Um. And if it's not, just like always, we'll figure it out as we go. It's kind of story of our lives. This is fine. This is fine.